Hello and happy gaming, everyone. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and that's Riku deciding to be nice and loud. If she wants that attention, don't you? You want that attention? Yeah, I know what you want, but I just got home from work, so please try to relax. All right, so let's design ourselves a run. Last couple of runs, I actually succeeded. The run that I did using the setup that you're seeing now, which I just kind of did as just kind of a whatever run, didn't go so well. Mm. So, let's, so actually, I probably could just run with, run with this and just run some different spells. The whole idea behind this particular robe, Fall, is that it sets your max health at 100. But it also makes it so that when you that you, when you go for a little while without taking damage, <coughs> pardon me, that it re just regenerates your health. So I combine that with the limited edition robe, which actually reduces damage received to a maximum of 10% of your max health, which means that big hits won't do any more than 10 damage. So. It, Assuming that you play pretty well, you can actually get quite a get quite a bit out of this setup. This is of course assuming that one plays well. And that is kind of the crux of the case, is I need to play well. And that in and of itself seems like it might be a bit of a tall order considering how I've been playing lately. But let's give it let's give it a whirl. What's the worst that can happen? I lose. I wouldn't call that the worst thing in the world. Just means instead of... This means instead of try... instead of... I completely forgot what I was gonna say. Never mind. I'm an idiot! There we go. We're gonna go with some slightly stronger stuff. It's always fun to experiment with some things. But sometimes you just want to, you just want something that works, and I'm pretty sure these spells will work. Uh, no, not in the Sky Palace, thank you. Alright, what are these? All of the elements assail the Chaos Trials, the end is nigh, no, I'm good. And we've got Atlas on level 2. So that could be an issue. I'm hoping that it won't be. There we go. Frost Scimitar is doing their job. Aw, yeah. Bringing this Frost Scimitar back. So one thing though, one thing I've liked I've liked for a long time about Bolt Rail is just how quickly it comes out and how much consistent damage it does. It is easily in my mind a top tier pick, and for a top tier pick for basic Arcana, and actually, oh yeah, perfect. Okay, would like to know why that missed. Like I said, considering how I've been playing, I kind of, I kind of feel like I need this kind of pseudo immortality because I have not been doing well. I think I, I stated earlier in my Isaac run that. That a lot of the uh, that just about every game I've been playing lately, as things have been going pretty poorly. So I could definitely use a W here in order to make in order to boost my confidence just a little bit. So what I'm going to be looking for 
are things that are going to help me wipe out wipe out Sura's Sura's minions, of course. I'm going to be looking for more things that help me keep control of the battlefield. And we're going to be looking for good, good, decent relics. Like Glove of Midas here. That's just going to make it so that there's just more gold to be had in general. Which will allow me to afford more, more arcana, more relics. It'll work out nicely, trust me. You two are right. Uh, you two are right there. Okay. So, is there anything here that I think would help? I do think Blazing Larry will help, actually. Blazing Lariat has that nice circular attack pattern, but with the him, but also, but also has nice power to it. It's a great get off me option. Made him. Okay, I don't know if that's going to help. I don't think I have anything that is a wave. By the way, as far as what constitutes a wave-like spell. Your guess is as good as mine. The spells that are affected by Shark Mask, I don't understand. So I'm kind of hoping to see Kremire on that one so I can just sell it off. And of course, now that I'm looking for Kremire, Dr. Page shows up. Or no, sorry, Dr. Song. Why did I think Dr. Page? Where the hell did I get that from? There we go. Alright. Starting to feel a little more confident. Starting to. Yeah, come on, bitch. There we go. Oops, I missed. Alright, that worked out anyway. about every enemy. Okay, yes. Admittedly, there are a lot of enemies in this game I don't like. Like, a lot, a lot of enemies that I don't like. But, it just goes... It goes to show that there is... That there is an idea of making the game challenging as part of its... As part of its core, core design doc. Just in some in some areas, I think they may have gone a little too far. That's just one person's opinion. But at the same time, it also gives me something to work towards. So I guess I shouldn't be can't be too nasty about it. Okay. Improve wavefront. Sounds good. Not sure I want anything else here, though. Alright, so head south now. So, as at the time of this recording, it is February 13th, which means that Valentine's Day is coming up pretty quick. 
Oh, and the reason why I bring that up is because I happen to know that it's the release day for the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, which has been getting strangely lambasted on Rotten Tomatoes for some reason, even though, you know, the movie isn't out. And it makes me, it makes me wonder if there isn't if there isn't a bit of an agenda behind that. I obviously have no proof of that. It's just consider it a gut feeling, considering how poorly a lot of these critics reacted when the director decided to go back to the drawing board with Sonic's design. You know, because because of the strange abusive relationship that for, that the movie studios have with us, they just. Everyone just expected, oh, screw the fans, who cares what they want? Well, I mean, you are making something for fans, maybe you should kind of give a shit about what they want? I mean, just, just a thought, guys. I mean, I don't know if maybe I'm the crazy one thinking that, you know, every now and again the people that, you know, the movie or that, that, that the movie or even the property is made for should maybe get what they want at least part of the time. But, yeah, critics were real pissed when they decided to take Sonic's design back to the drawing board. Oh, they weren't happy about that at all. I'm gonna take the teddy bear. And, and and seeing as seeing as we're, the movie is out tomorrow, it just it's stuck in my crawl a little bit because there's a part of me that definitely wants to try to understand why. Okay, can we not all just gang up now? You're playing single player, Dark Sage. It's gonna happen. But, I mean, this is kind of what I meant when I said I wasn't playing so well. So I definitely need to get my need to get back on the horse and make myself better. The only thing that's going to do any good damage to her is my basic. Yay. Thank you, Frost Scimitars, for completely eating away at her signature. There. Well done. Tectonic Drill. I don't know if I'm going to like that very much, but I have it now. I think I'll use it. Don't think it's gonna do great. Kind of doesn't fit with the whole mid-range thing I was going for. That's definitely a close range. Oh, look at that! There's holes in just in the corners for no reason. Okay, so actually, tectonic drill did me a good favor there. Thank you, Tectonic Drill. Maybe I was too quick to judge. Oh. So, I like Cabby Cinnamon Dots. I'm not sure how effective they'll be with Bolt Rail, though, so maybe Thesis on Defense is my best choice. Because I have Glove of Midas, I'm not as worried about money as maybe I should be. 
So I think I'll be okay just to pick that up and kind of build it up over the next few floors. I don't know if it's going to have any effect considering considering that I have the limited edition robe. But really, really no reason not to pick it up. Yay! One little hit and it's all it took. Waste an entire spell on that. There we go. I do sometimes forget how much dam how much absurd amounts of damage Tectonic Drill actually does. I use it so infrequently just because I don't really have a lot of a lot of strong uses for it in most of my builds. Oh yeah, that worked. Okay, so maybe I need to start with tectonic drill. There we go. Now we got it. And, ooh. I definitely see that as being worthwhile to use. Tweet. What's up, guys? Alright, so we'll go ahead and go ahead and throw this out there. The thing about this water dragon spell is that it's long lasting, it scores lots of hits, it can home in on things. It might actually be be a good spell to bring into the Sura fight to help out with his minions. There we go. Looking good. Level up Bolt Rail? Yes, please. So now Bolt Rail will score a few more hit, will score a little bit more damage. More importantly, it will now add shock. That is going to be a big boon. So yeah, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Good birds. Loud birds. Now, for purposes of the relics, I wonder if the... I wonder if the water dragons... What is the dragon surge? I wonder if that counts as a summon. Letting you hit me like that. Yeah, frost scimitar up the butt. You know, you know that's not how he envisioned going out. Bla a blaze of glory to defend the honor of my lords and ladies. Hell no, sword up the butt. Hiding behind those statues, but honestly, who do you think you're fooling? Oh no! Oh, yeah. Thanks for interrupting my spell, Jackass. All right, Dragon Surge is 
I have not really played around with this spell very much. Oh, that was not smart. Huh, that's odd. There's another room I haven't seen. I guess it's not odd that there are rooms that I haven't seen. It's just with how much time I've put into this game, you'd think I've seen, I would have seen just about everything there is to offer. Apparently not. Oh, I can hit him through the wall with that! Oh, whoa! Whoa, tech discovered. Uh, exploding fireball, don't care. Don't care, no. Birds! Oh! Oh, I see. You're just loud because I'm over here recording. Is that what it's all about? You know what about birds? So I come in, I pet you, I say hello, I give you attention. I <clears throat> I sit down, eat dinner with you, and then I go to do some recording, and now you're going to get mad at me because I'm recording? Come on, guys. That's a little selfish, don't you think? It's alright, it wouldn't be one of my recordings if he didn't have my birds going off in the background. So, you know, say hello to the birds, their, their job is to make sure... But damage is limited, so screw it, I'm taking it. Oh shit, too much going on! Okay, that's an exam that's an example of be careful what you're doing. If you need to retreat from a battle, don't go in a direction that you haven't been already. If you're going into an unidentified part of the map, chances are there's probably something there that wants to try to kill you. So don't go there. If you need to make an escape, go to a part of the map where where you're pretty sure something isn't. You know, like where you've already been. So I think it's rather obvious that Dragon Surge works a little bit better when you have more than one target to, for it to aim at. Otherwise, it just kind of flies around. It's homing, but it's also slow. So definitely a better spell to throw out there when there's multiple targets. You know, like right now. Obvious. So I suppose that means that for boss battles, I should be focusing more on Tectonic Drill. Even though we are coming up against Atlas, and he will resist the damage from Tectonic Drill, it'll probably still do more damage on the whole, just because it's scoring more dependable hits. Now see, I'm using my brain. My brain doesn't always work the way I want it to, but I'm using it. Ah, good sir, I will gladly buy that. And that's about all I'm going to buy, but that works for me. Good day to you, sir.
Thank you, Wavefront. There. Something. One of them went down. Alright, now I can focus on the boss. Frosty. All right, now let's switch these up and go ahead and take on Atlas. At least it wasn't floor three. Zeal, on the other hand, her floor probably won't be excruciatingly difficult. I say that, and now that I've said that, it's probably where I'm going to game over. But... Zeal herself gets moved really fast. Hey, you have a tectonic drill too. At least the cushion flip-flops are keeping me from taking a whole bunch of damage. I mean, unlike right there, where they actually didn't help at all. There we go. Thank you, Tracer Barrage. Spark Array! Oh, I love Spark Array, but how in the world do I use it effectively? Over the dragons? I don't think it's a good idea to take it over the dragons. Do I take it over... I think I might just have to let go of Blazing Lariat. I hope that that isn't a bad move. Because... You know what? Before I second guess it too much longer, let's just move forward. Is it really a good idea to move forward without a get off me option? You know what? I already made the choice. Don't make me second guess myself now, brain. Just saying, I don't think it's a good idea. Shut up. Right about now, brain. I don't want. I don't want to hear any. I don't want to hear any objections. Oh, are you having an argument with your brain? Shut up. These questions and more will not be answered. You're just gonna have to accept that. Ah, smooth. Alright, the more gold I get, the, the stronger that the Dagger of Midas is going to become, so... There we go. Beautiful. Is this another combat room? It's a boss room. Ugh, I would love to use this signature! Cool, I got to use it. Signature attack, wielded with pride. Thank you, Dragon Surge. You are a gentleman and a scholar.
Okay, having all of my cool all my cooldowns cut in half thanks to double toil. Hmm. This gives me so much more freedom with my options. Look at that, and before the Dragon Surge is even ended, I could summon another one if I wanted to. <clears throat> now, the reason why I don't normally take Double Foil isn't because I dislike the idea of it, it's mostly because I've just been playing really badly as of late, and I'm just trying to essentially cover my own butt. But, if you, if you have the means by which to mitigate the extra damage, or you just don't care about the extra damage that you'll be taking, is it worth it? Oh, absolutely. Thank you, Dragon Surge. So, just a, since I had started bringing up the idea of you know, putting the spells in Wizard of Legend into tears, I should ask, would what would those of you who are watching my videos think of me doing essentially a tier maker video for this game? You know, not many people are playing it, I'm aware, but mostly just, mostly just for fun. It's not, not necessarily anything that I think would garner a huge amount of praise or anything, it's just something that I kind of want to do. So, let me know, let me know in the comments below what you think of me doing a Tear Maker video on Wizard of Legends. You interested in seeing a tier list of the Wizard of Legends spells? Has someone out there already done it? And if they have, do you think I could do it better? Whatever, or maybe not even better, just would it be nice to have a second opinion out there on some of these things? Like I said, drop a, drop a comment, let me know what you think. No, no fire breath. No jet engine either. quite a bit to improve my defense. Just every now and again an attack just gets negated. Why flip-flops? I've got signature charge, it takes it off my signature charge. Fuck it. Okay, don't really need that. Don't need that. I don't, what, what qualifies as a movement arcana? Please enlighten me. Because I'm pretty sure I don't have one. And by the way, I've checked this. Most of the, most of if not all of the dash arcana don't count. And you would think if there is such a thing as a movement arcana, you know, the ones that make you, the ones that activate when you're moving, should probably be it. All right. I already said I would get rid of that if I found Kremire, so you can have that. All right, so is there an is there a relic I want to buy just because I can? Yeah, fuck it. Give me the royal jelly, even if, even though it's completely pointless. Counter rogue. There's the real one. Is 
archer go away yet? Christ. Rock scimitars! A Viking helmet. I have to wear it. What does it do? In damage increased while at low health. Cool. I don't know what qualifies as low health while I'm wearing this robe, but whatever. I'm gonna guess about 30. Ignition drive, huh? Not bad. Too bad you missed. Oh, you stupid Lancer. Go away, you have no friends. That's aiming kind of low, isn't it? I don't think so. I mean, think about it. If he had friends, he wouldn't feel the need to have to stay so far away. Well, what about the archers? No, they don't have friends either. Well, what about the rogues? They have to get really close. They must have friends. No, you see, that's the problem. They're really sneaky and thiefy, so no one trusts them. So no, they don't have friends either. I'll take that, because that makes sense while I'm carrying this. I don't have anything that's improving my critical hit rate, so... I mean, regardless, I'm taking it anyway. I have all this money. Why not spend some of it? By the way, what is... Almost 20% damage increase. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, so this is like the one time when the Idealist Vest actually comes into play. And gotta admit, kinda like it. Adds a significant chance to evade attacks but receive double damage. <laughs> Joke's on you, I've got limited edition robe, bitch. Critical hit chance isn't that great, but it's better than something that I'm not even going to use, so. Oh, I think I almost I think I accidentally hit Iris in the face with the frost scimitar. Sorry about that. Sorry, that wasn't part of the plan. Spinning swords of frost and ice. They were made to slice and dice. When you throw this blade of ice, your enemies will feel not so nice. <laughs> Evade. Don't expect me to try to rhyme things like that all the time. Mostly because I'm just not very good at it. Happened to get that one going because, hey, we just kind of showed up that way. But how often can I come up with rhymes like that on the spot? Eh, I mean, it's not really one of my skills. 
Uh, what would one of your skills be, Dark Sage? Uh, talking shit about people, honestly. I guess not even just people, just... You know, I'll talk shit about companies, about... Ideas, I mean, I, I, I guess that's what I'm good at, I just like to talk. I guess begrudgingly I could say I'm pretty good at video games, but performance over my favorite games over this last day has not, not exactly been proven that. Ooh, I got Dice of the Nemesis to throw out a big critical hit. Oh hey, you're one of the you're the real one. And when I when I say real one, I mean you are part of Ooh, Singing Bowl, hold on, that's at this point, Singing Bowl is more useful than that. Alright, so, Zeal has a lot of moves that cause her to dash in at me, and with the speed increase that the bosses get at level 3, this could, this could potentially be very dangerous. Okay, Dice of the Nemesis is actually working out surprisingly well for me. So are those boots. Thundering Chain, ooh. I like Thundering Chain. Just don't know if it's worth using over Tracer Barrage. I'm gonna say no, I'm gonna stick with what I have. All right, on to Sura. Hey, Dice of, <laughs> Dice of the Nemesis is really getting work done. I know exactly why that is, too. Right now, I've got myself a little synergy going with, sing with Singing Bowl. Phase 2, where things get real. Yeah, come on, no. Oh, evade, evade. Ha 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 ha
pretty sure I've built a run that's... Evade. Aha. And there we go. Three in a row. How do you like them apples? Alright. Alright, so if I want the win to count, I actually have to go all the way to the end here. <laughs> By the way, you can skip the text boxes if you just hit the B button. And there we go. Another successful run. <laughs> Admittedly, that one did make me feel good. Say hello to Sneezy McGee over here. Alright, so that's it for this run. Let me get, let me know what you guys think about me doing a tier list video for the spells in the comments below, or... I mean, if you happen to know me in person, feel free to let me know in person, but... Not all of you will, so I'm just kind of saying. And I will be back with more content in the near future. So, drop a like, leave a comment, and hell, subscribe if you like. I would appreciate it if you would. And I'll be back with more content in the near future. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and I will be seeing you.